Hey guys, day one, hour four. I'm feeling pretty good because um, I'm not modeling. So really, a little bit more on this guy. Lars, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I think we're doing pretty well. Uh, got all our exterior walls, interior. I already talked about that last hour. Uh, now we started to add in our primary roof forms. Uh, we're going with a bunch of shed roofs as opposed to gables. Just make it all look a little nicer, more of a modern feeling. Um, so now I'm uh, still playing with our roof pitch. I've got a 212 right now, um, pretty much on all of these. Uh, some flat roofs, which I think I'm going to tweak a little bit. Um, but again, I'm going to talk to Michael about that. Uh, he's in charge of design here. So once we get that worked out, I'll start intersecting these planes with my walls. And do a quick one here. It's a model. And then I can start chopping that off and you can really get an idea of what this place is going to look like. And it's going to look pretty awesome on the site. Nice. That is pretty impressive. Well, Josh Riley says, hey, SketchUp wizard. What's up, Josh? <laughs> And Lars is on coffee cup number three of the day, so thanks for helping with our stats. Joe's only on number two. You gotta step it up, Joe. So Lars, what's up in your corner of the world? Uh, I am just still modeling trim. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Ark for uh, reminding me about Profile Builder. I was not using Follow Me. I feel pretty dumb for that, doing that now. And saving a bit more time. Just about done with the first floor here. Then uh, we got a simpler one-piece trim upstairs, so should be flying by and then uh, moving on to whatever's next. We might do placing furniture after this. Wow. Now, for a different company, it would be kind of early to place furniture, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Especially choose it. So how does that set Trilogy apart for people? Um, it allows us to pretty much get into choosing everything uh, right at the beginning um, and inventorying it as well. Ordering. And what if you end up with too much space in a room or not enough space? What do you do then? Uh, we can quickly redesign it to the client's expectations. Cool. Sketch up. Hey. <clears throat> and we're moving over to the man in charge. Hey, Michael. Hi there. Well, Aaron, how are you doing? Oh, well, I'm good because I'm not the one who has the pressure on to be uh, modeling in 24 hours. Well, I'm doing pretty uh, something pretty crazy right now if you can see I am designing the fireplace to end all fireplaces because it also has a 20 some foot water feature embedded in it um, so what I have is this is the main living room area here and I have put a quadrifier fire insert in I'm doing all of this to code so this is an actual um, model of an actual fireplace, gas fireplace insert we might use. And then on our second level upstairs, I'm going to be installing another fireplace right here uh, at the end of this catwalk. And then between the two fireplaces, this strange contraption that you're seeing is going to be our waterfall. We are going to have uh, a waterfall that's starting almost at the roof and then it's going to come cascading down. So. Um, a series of rocky steps and into a pool at the bottom and I want that um, waterfall to be visible pretty much from all the common areas of the house because we have a lake out here it's natural that we would have a waterfall so from the dining area from the living room um, and it'll actually come down and start to curve around and end up down in this area here just like it would in nature and uh, so a lot of work to do on that but um, I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm headed in the right direction, and we don't design something if it's not going to be buildable, so it's very important that, you know, we design something that we can actually um, put in a real house. Um, so anyway, that's what I've been working on the last little while, and um, yeah, we're making pretty good, pretty good progress on that. Cool. So I love the idea of bringing the outside in and a house with a waterfall. That's like a dream for me. So I hope yeah. our clients like it too. Yeah, absolutely. The sound of water is just, you know, it's just really uh, precious. So. Great. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we will be back at the top of next hour. All right. See you then.
Hold on, we might still be rolling.